Last patch, Aatrox got what many people assumed was a nerf. Despite that, his win rate actually went up. Last patch, it looked like this at 50.34%. This patch, it looked like this at 51.93%. Now, before I go further, I will say there's this weird thing that happens to Aatrox where every patch, his win rate at the beginning of the patch is always at its highest, and then throughout the patch it goes down. But I'm fairly convinced that it's now been for three, four, five days since the patch has gone on, and now I'm fairly convinced that this patch is it, his win rate's not going to go down enough, and this phenomenon isn't going to make up for this. So why, why if Aatrox got supposedly nerfed, does his win rate instead go up? So in order to analyze this, we need to look at the core facts of this. His health growth went up. His late game unalted E went down. His late game unalted healing or old healing went down. So. In other words, let's look at some easy takeaways from this one, okay? Uh, I need to scroll over here. He is buffed at levels 2 to 7. He's an early game champion who got buffed at levels 2 to 7. That's because of the increased health growth. He has more health at level, well, every level except for level 1. But until level 7, when you put that second point in your E, until that point, you're buffed. So at level 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, and seven, you are buffed. Aatrox tends to be a bit weaker into the hyper early game against people that are trying to all in spam him, so even a little bit of extra health actually does help keep him alive and help him keep in the game, particularly into the later lane. Um, this gives him 50, 60, 70, 80 health that he can use to stay alive against people who are trying to burst him down. He only got slight nerfs until level 11, but again, these were mostly buffs. Meaning, even at level 8, when he puts that second point in his E, he's only down 5% of the healing he would get from his E. From 20% to 19.5%, that is a mere 5% nerf to the, uh, sorry, it's not even 5%, that's, uh, absolutely insane. What is that? That is, that is a 0.25%, sorry, that's a 2.5% nerf. So, not a lot. A 2.5% nerf to his healing at level 8. In his ultimate, it's still the exact same. So, in his ultimate, Aatrox heals the exact same amount until level 11. So, as so long as you fight during your ultimate, level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, you were all healing for more. That is, obviously... A, a buff. He, he might heal slightly less, but we're seeing right here, he went from 22%, even at level 10, he went from 22% healing to 21% healing in um, when, when he's not in his ultimate. This is just insignificant. So the amount of health we're seeing here significantly helped his early game. Aatrox is like it or hate it or do whatever you want about it. Aatrox is an early game champion. So being stronger in the early game is just better for him. And, as I wrote here, he still only gets these slight nerfs until level 16. Even at level 11, he goes from 40% healing to 35% healing on his ultimate. That is still just not that much. 40% to 35%, let me zoom right in here so you guys can see it real close. This is just not that much of a nerf. This one still is really not that much of a nerf. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure why they even did this one. Um, realistically, if these are the only two changes that happened, I would assume this was overall a buff. This is where I assume Ride and most of us thought that he was going to be nerfed, but the blunt fact of the matter is the increased early game power actually compensated, overcompensated, that's the literal definition of the word, overcompensated, for the amount of nerfs that they were doing. Now, what are the complicated takeaways from this? Uh, the complicated takeaway from this one, let me uh, scroll down here, so I have this written out, is that Burst Champions now have a harder time killing Aatrox. If you're playing a champion like Kiana, if you're playing a champion like um, even something like Talon, Akali, even the champions who have more Burst, Aatrox is now harder to kill. Because he's now harder to kill, this makes him way more forgiving. Whereas in the past, if I was playing a Kled, one of the things I would try to do to Aatrox is I would try to burst him down before he got to healing. So I would try to use my E to dodge his Qs. I would, you know, try to throw my Qs at him, hit as much as possible. And I would try to burst him down before eventually we got too late in the fight and my low sustained damage just became too much for me uh, to deal with and Aatrox would win. Well now since Aatrox is tankier, if I'm playing a champion like Kled, I now need to deal more damage to actually kill him. 
that for a lot of champions, they don't have more damage to deal. If I'm playing Kiana, if I'm playing Talon, if I'm playing Clyde, if I'm playing Renekton, there's only so much damage you can deal in a fight. And particularly, there's only so much you can burst. Even if you dodge his first Q combo, he'll likely live to the second Q chain, at which point you'll end up in a situation where you maybe just can't kill him anymore. He's going to proc his Eclipse Shield for a second time. He's going to get to his second passive. He's going to get maybe to a second Gore Drinker if he's going Gore Drinker. There's just a lot that Aatrox can do if you can't burst him down to not die. And here's the other thing, this more forgiving thing, is that uh, this means that when Aatrox is being ganked, he's harder to kill. When Aatrox makes a tower dive, he's harder to kill. And here's something that's more important that I should really write down here. Aatrox has a higher health cap. Now, what I mean by that is that the amount that Aatrox can heal up to went up. So if Aatrox is currently at full health uh, before this patch, he had less total health to go up to. So if he was landing all his Qs, his passive and all that, he would end up at full health. On this patch, he can still end up at full health, but his full health is actually higher. Now, the thing about this is Aatrox is now less rewarded for good play. Because he just gets his health baseline, this means that Aatrox is actually doing better at the lower ranks. And for the first time, and we've seen this, if I go and I look at 12.13, Aatrox is way down here at the 11th pick with a 48% win rate. He's not doing unfathomably bad, but he's certainly not doing good. And this is at all ranks, this is mostly the low ranks. On this patch, we can see that Aatrox has shoot his way up to the 7th highest pick with a 50.55% win rate. Now, this is beyond where Aatrox should be at the lower ranks in other words they just ended up um lowering his skill cap a good amount now the question for this is is this a good thing should atrex's skill cap have actually been reduced this much i don't know and i really don't think it should have i don't actually think that this was a good change i don't think it's a good change at all i think one of Aatrox's defining features was the fact that he was a higher skill cap champion who wasn't very forgiving. It was harder for him to evade ganks, so he had to play careful. He had to use wall movement and stuff like that to evade ganks. He um, could get burst down really easily, so you always had to be the first man into the fight. You couldn't just tank through their abilities and respond to them. You had to try to, well, damage them. And I don't think it's a good thing. In particular, what it is also done is uh, if I go to Masters Plus on this patch, we can see, uh, let me go to last pass, we can see looking at items that um, he was already starting to shuffle a lot over to an Eclipse build. Now on this patch, we can see that the Eclipse build, um, well, okay, we, we get a low sample size here. So maybe if we go to D2 and get a better sample size on this patch, we can see, so last patch, Gore Drinker was being outperformed a little bit by Eclipse, but it still had the higher pick rate. On this patch, we can see with the nerf to his ultimate healing that Gore Drinker is now doing not, not as great, and it's got a lower pick rate, and Eclipse, Eclipse actually went up both in pick rate and in win rate by a considerable amount. What this means is that the Aatroxes who are going with the Eclipse build, going with the squishier build, now can't be killed as easily as a complete Eclipse. One of the disadvantages of the Eclipse build was that he didn't have ability haste and he was kind of squishy once he built it. So there was a problem where Aatrox could very quickly be burst down if he made even the slight misplight. So now the issue is Aatrox can't be burst down, he can go Eclipse, he can go with that lethality build, and as we've seen, he is now doing a considerable amount better for it. So, to answer the question, how did Aatrox get nerfed and have his win rate go up? Well, this is how. Um, he actually, the health is boosting him substantially. He can more easily go with the Eclipse build. His skill cap was reduced, allowing more players to do good on him. And overall, this just ended up, ironically, being a good thing for Aatrox. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave your thoughts on this video, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, everybody.